guys, uh, today I'm here to do a review of a rum that I picked up while I was on in Mexico on vacation and it's called Diaristi and Mexico is not a sort of uh, country that you actually sort of put rum to is it? It's uh, tequila normally so um, I'm like I said I picked this one up I'm going to do a review of it for you now and so hopefully We'll see what it comes out like. Um, the Aristi uh, Special Reserve Rum. It's uh, 10 years aged in oak barrels. Produced in Merida in the Yucatan Peninsula in Mexico. By the uh, Aristi family. And the Aristi family have been, um, they've got generations of rum production. But also they produce um, a lot of liqueurs which are very popular in Mexico and um, they were founded back in 1935 so they've got quite a bit of um, rum making generations behind them um, the first sugar cane, should sugar cane plantation uh, was founded in 1540 just outside Merida by a Francisco Montego so sugar cane has been growing in the region for a long long while and like I said you don't it's not something you do really put Mexico down to um, what they do is they the the Aristi family they pick the sugar cane by hand as they say it can it stops the a loss of a lot of the uh, sugar cane juice by cutting it by hand and then they crush it in an ancient um, wooden crusher that they've got to get the juice um, and then obviously they um, distill it and um, they're aged one they put away for 10 years now in oak barrels now like I said looking at the bottle itself if you have a little look shows you here it's got a very rustic look it's got a twine all around the neck wooden top a raw iron um, handle and it's you know quite handy if you're going to be going off somewhere with your bottle of rum to, to your friend's house you can carry it quite easily but um, all down to the taste really isn't it so um, what I'm going to do now is pour a little glass and we'll see if uh, the inside of the bottle is as good as the outside of the bottle right first of all first impressions is very pale not you know very pale indeed so um that's quite surprising actually how pale that is now uh i'm gonna take a little smell of it quite strong alcohol flavors are coming from this one quite actually burn top the top of my uh, nose to be honest with you quite strong indeed um it's quite a light smell it's got like maybe raisiny um maybe a little hint of um caramel there certainly smell oak woody notes to it wow oh now that burnt the back of my throat to be quite honest with you um quite a strong alcohol burn to that one as it went down um like I said, it's sort of, let's try it with another little set. Yep, there it is again. It's quite a strong one, quite a burden to it. Um, there is a caramel flavour to it. Um, Vanilla-ish, raisiny, going off really dry, very dry indeed. The finish on it is not long, it's a sh short, long, uh, dry finish. yeah like I said um, it's not exactly my favorite one if I was to be quite honest with you if I'm, uh, I'm drinking this I've got this bottle and it's okay I should imagine with an ice cube it would just take a little bit of the edge off of it and it'd be a little more, more pleasant to drink but it's, it's, it's okay but it's not my favorite um, price wise you're looking at what are you looking at here? Um, 
forty pound a bottle to buy in the UK. Well, forty pound a bottle. Um, would I, all I can say is I'm not going to say it, that some people might really love this one. Um, it's not my favourite. Um, if I were to be honest, would I be replacing it when it goes? No, I don't think I would. There's too many rums out there at the same price and a bit lower in price that are far superior. So I would say it's okay. It's a nice, it's okay bottle of rum, but um, it won't be on my replenishing list, to say, so to speak. So I hope this uh, review has had, uh, you know, a bit of use to some people out there. So until next time, enjoy.